Hey guys, it's Heather from Calvo Plant. And in today's video, I wanted to show you guys some ways to set up your self-care planner. So I am going to set mine up for July because um, I'm using my Go Wild one for June. So I'm gonna start this one in July and it's six months. So then I'll use it for the rest of the year. Um, so for starters, I am going to grab these tab stickers uh, that say July. And I'm gonna put one right here on this tab. And then I'm gonna put the other one on the back. And then this page I'm gonna set up as a bucket list, but I'm gonna do that in a separate video. So you can come back for that part. And then this I'm gonna set up um, for July. So I'm gonna take this sticker here that says July and I'm gonna put it over here. And then I'm gonna to go to the next page and grab the July sticker. And I'm gonna put it over here. And then this is 8th, 7th, 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 1st. So the first is a Monday, I had to count backwards. I know that the 8th is a Monday because that's my birthday. So I knew that one, but I wasn't sure when the first was. So I'm gonna use these monthly stickers to date um, our monthly spread. Um, so I'm just gonna peel off. This part can take, it's like the longest part of setting up a dated or an undated planner. Um, some tips on how to do this. If you, I would suggest having a dated planner or a calendar out so that you're sure that you date this the right way. Um, let's see. I might go date this off camera just so you guys don't have to watch me date an entire month because it can take a little bit. And then I'll come back and show you how I'm gonna set up the rest of this. All right, so I got this all set up and then I'm gonna go to these stickers here that have these monthly stickers and I'm going to take this one that has the monthly mood tracker. I really like tracking the monthly mood and I love that this sticker just fits right here in my sidebar. And then I'm gonna take this one that says monthly goal and I'm gonna set a monthly self-care goal and it says, how will this goal care for my mind and soul? And then I'm gonna take this one that has monthly struggles and I'm gonna put it right here. That way we have three things to track over here. Um, and then I want to take a smaller quote. Um, I like this one, it says self-care is the way, the active way that I take care of myself. And I'm gonna put that in that little spot right there. Then I'm gonna go to the decorative stickers and these I'm gonna use to set, to decorate some of these empty spots. So we're gonna put this one right here. Um, and then we're gonna put this little eye mask right here. And then I'm gonna go back to the quotes. Um, I like this one that says there's hope even when your brain says there is not. And I'm gonna put this one in this space right here. And then go back to those decorative quotes or decorative stickers. And let's put this little weight like this. And we can put a little heart. And then I'm going to do something similar over here in this little space. Like that. And then I'm gonna use the monthly boxes to write um, 
a daily affirmation, which is what I've been doing in my current self-care planner in the Go Wild version. So I love that. So that's what I'm going to use this monthly for. And then I'm going to track these on this side. And then over here, I am going to grab, and then we're going to write July 1st through the 7th. 2024 20, and then over here I'm just gonna write one two three four five six seven and then I'm going to do the same thing over here I love that July 1st is a Monday and we get to start the this self-care planner if you're going to use it for the rest of the year you get to start it on the first i love that so i'm just going to go ahead and date these july 4th 2024 july 5th 2024, July 6th, 2024, and then July 7th, 2024. And then I have been using this in my other version as a monthly or a weekly reflection space, and I have loved doing that. So I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to take two boxes like this and then I'm gonna use the brush marker side and I'm gonna write reflection weekly reflection and then I'm going to go back to those decorative stickers and I'm going to put a little bathtub in the corner and then I'm going to put a quote I love this one it is not selfish to make your happiness a priority we're going to put that in this box and then I'll write in this box. And then I'm not gonna set up the whole month just cause I'm not sure what colors I wanna use in every other week. Um, but then I could come over here and I'm actually gonna go back here to these. Um, and I'm gonna cover up some of these boxes. So here, I'm gonna lay that down. And then here, maybe change the question up on here on Tuesday, just to do something a little bit different. Here, I could cover this up if I wanted to just write an end of day check in. And then over here, gonna fill this in. On the fourth, I feel like because it's a holiday, I'm probably not gonna be doing a midday check in because I'm probably gonna be out and busy. So I'm gonna cover that and then put a different box here and then we'll just use this box for something different on the fourth um and then over here the fifth let's put a checklist and 
And then let's cover this one, because this is a Friday. And again, it's a Friday of a holiday weekend, so I'm not sure what that's really gonna look like. And then let's go and maybe put this quote here. That's cute. Just a few ways to kind of set that up a little bit differently each day. And then that is just an example of how I would set up for a week. And then I would put in my task that I want to have it track. And then I'm ready to go. So in tomorrow's video, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do my monthly bucket list in this planner. But that is just a quick overview on how I would set up the monthly for July and then set up the weekly pages so that I can start journaling for this first week. Super excited about this planner. It releases on Friday um, at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. So actually this self-care bucket list, now that I think about it, that will actually go up on Friday, not tomorrow, because we don't have videos on Thursday. Anyway, if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.